Hi everyone, we are Hannah and Lima from the Imchen family on YouTube. <laughs> um, and usually our YouTube channel features only our daughter, or mostly our daughter. So we thought today we would do something a little bit different. So we hope you enjoy. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of experimental cooking and trying out new recipes. And um, a new thing that I've started this lockdown is to try and exercise at least for an hour every day. Spending time with my family, taking online classes, and playing with my family, and praying together. That's it. We started a project called the Good Samaritan Project with a vision to help the poor and the needy, especially the widows. Uh, tell you which earners as well as the stranded students. My dissertation since I'm doing my master's, so uh, I have to do my dissertation and I've been doing quite a lot of readings, books, articles. I've been keeping myself busy with stitching and gardening and these are some of my work for my clients which I did during the lockdown. My whole family could get ourselves occupied with farming and the best part is to assist my husband in uh, doing some works which he was planning for many years. We were just doing a lot of home renovations and I was also part of a project that our church started called as the Mokokchong Rainbows where children drew rainbows and just a way of spreading love, hope and positivity all around. During this lockdown, me and my husband, we've been busy in our garden and with our son who is 15 weeks old boy. I do drawings, paintings, crafts, go outside and play, did some new plantations and I do my online studies every day. Well, the best thing about this lockdown for me was knowing my capabilities. I never knew that I can learn so many tips and tricks just by sitting at home and experimenting it on my own. I was able to spend quality time with the Lord as well as with my family. Spending time with my children, um, doing things that we wouldn't usually do. For example, going for a walk down our lane and exploring the wildlife. <laughs> I started this uh, one hour Instagram live every evening at 6.30 and uh, my friends from across the world, from Colombia, from Switzerland, from Dominican Republic, we all could reach out to one another and share our stories, our life, our career. With all the busy weeks gone and with so much time to myself, I have had one of some of the most stress-free days in years. Since during other times when I used to come for vacation and all, I don't usually stay at home. I stay out and stay stay out late night, which is not good. But I've learned a lot staying at home, spending this time with my family. During this lockdown, I enjoyed very much spending quality time with my family, and not only that, I also pack cakes, donuts, extras with my mom, and I really enjoyed eating. Um, I think the best thing about the lockdown is that um, I'm able to relax. I've been sick for quite some time, so staying at home is helping me recover and I'm getting stronger. Um, the lockdown has granted me a lot of time to spend with my family. Indeed watching a lot of movies <laughs> every day, every night and um, just getting a lot of time to slow down life and take care of our bodies physically and spiritually. What are we going to do today is the most challenging question that I face every day and to find the answer is more challenging. Like you know sourcing the groceries and vegetables because I'm a you know firm believer of organic food. I haven't been able to get materials for my work and I'm also unsure uh, if they'll hire me after the lockdown. What I miss most is playing the within every room with my friends shortage of natural resources like food supply and social distancing. To sleep and get up on time, starting to get a little lazy. 
and also you have to meet the demands of the university and the college to be productive as if everything is normal. Not having easy access to the hardware store because that kind of hindered our process of you know home decor and doing a lot of carpentry works. But besides that, everything was good. To be with two monkeys, one and a half years old and a four years old daughter, staying inside one house for almost a week, and to be playing with them, to hear them cry, to hear them shouting around, it was like one day was like a one year, and that was the biggest challenge. And I can imagine how my wife can go through that. virus or no virus uh, from this point onwards we should all be looking out for each other I have learned to share and care about others and I even learned that everything is in the hands of God we should take life seriously we should take care of our hygiene and also we should cherish the moments that we have with our families and we should learn how to spend time with our families to put God first others second and me last Every breath we take is a gift. Less is beautiful. I think we need to be contained with the less that we have because through this pandemic, we are all reaching out to one another. If we go out, we must wear our masks. Adaptation is the key to survival. We are really fortunate with what we have, even though sometimes we feel like we don't have much. Um, we actually have so much more than many people here. And uh, every day Lima has been coming home with different stories about how people are really struggling during this time. And it's just really made me thankful for everything that we have. It's the pause of the busy schedules of my life. The other thing I've learned is the term value. Value of time, value of family and loved ones, value of nature and its resources like water, food and shelter, etc. I often took these things for granted, but finally I have realized the importance of those values in our life and most importantly the value of those frontline warriors of COVID-19. The importance of spending time together in our family and spending time with our Almighty God. It's very uncertain and our sleeping is not good for you. <laughs>